Hello all you social media suicide warriors, Dan Pelly here, inspirational speaker, suicide warrior. Tonight's topic is, your life matters. Oh yes, it does matter. Even in our darkest moment, it matters. Even when I was suicidal in 1996 and 2010, I felt way down in my heart that even with all the suffering crushing it, that it still mattered and I still wanted to live and and I was still suffering and I was depressed and realizing that your life matters for the person that's sitting on the other side thinking that because of a loss or something that occurred or tragedy that your life doesn't matter anymore and it doesn't matter to other people. First, it has to matter to you. Your life has to matter to you. Not that we're being selfish self-centered but your life has to matter you have to feel it here that your life matters and to know that of course it matters for your loved ones if you have children but it's just not about them only of course we want to stay alive men women for their family uh, whatever reason they're thinking about taking their own life and it's a mistake and you're not rational if you're getting to that point there has to be some psychosis there or depression to contemplating taking a life, which is not an easy thing to do. And people thinking, I don't matter anymore. I don't matter because I've lost all this and I become insignificant. You're not insignificant just because you might lose a business or you get divorced. And even the loss of a loved one doesn't make us insignificant. You're a human being. Your life matters. You're a precious human being. And we shouldn't give up on ourselves. I made the two biggest mistakes in my life to get from the suicidal ideation, loathing, self-loathing, hating, worthlessness, everything that goes along with depression, or if anybody's suffering with psychosis or you know, bipolar, whatever you're suffering with, and you think that you're just worthless and, and because of your sickness and all these lies in, in that are coming at you from the depression that it's such a sickening disease. And we realize that we're struggling to matter. We're struggling to matter to ourselves and love ourselves, you know, because once we really love ourselves, and this is not a selfish thing or self-centered thing. Again, once we really love ourselves and we know who we are, no amount of suffering or obstacle or deadlock could ever hurt that or could ever hurt your happiness. Because when you find yourself and you raise your life condition to a point where you feel like, yeah, hey, when I was going through my you know, my recoveries. And after a while, when I was starting to feel better and things were starting to happen for me, I'm like, it does matter. My life does matter. And it matters for my loved ones too. You know, people think, well, someone has checked out and they're selfish and self-centered. They should have thought of their loved ones. Unfortunately, when someone has gone from suicidal ideation to matter if it's in a couple of hours from a tragic event, or a couple of days, or a couple of months, the result that happens from suicide ideation to the loathing and the self-worth, you know, the worthlessness and and the and the self uh, negative, uh, you know, messages coming at you, you realize you're going into a very dangerous place, and you're not thinking you matter, and it doesn't matter if I'm here anymore. All the people I'm going to leave behind. See, at that point, you're really not thinking of all that. It's not because you're being selfish. Again, you know, it's not that. It's that the pain is so overwhelming. The pain is so severe that it gets out of hand and you can't get control of it and you feel like they'd be better off without me. And they're not. And you'll be better off without yourself. You're not better off without yourself. You're going to be better from this sickness. You're going to be better than what you were before. 
because when you turn the poison into medicine and the sufferings that you went through, you're going to grow from it. you got to give yourself a chance to grow. It's not like when I have my two issues in 96 and 10 that I just snap right out of it. Hey, my life matters and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm happy and I'm, I feel good. It was a gradual buildup of recovery, taking all the right steps. I'm not a doctor or a therapist and you have to make sure that you're getting the proper help. Proper eating, sleeping, not drinking while you're on medication. Whatever you need to do, or if you start to feel depressed and you feel like you're getting more depressed and things are starting to happen, and you realize I'm going down a, a, a tunnel here, a spiral that's not good, and I'm not thinking I'm feeling worthless. When you start feeling that way, you're going to have to start giving yourself different messages that even when I started recovering, I still felt worthless. I still felt my life didn't matter, but it did. It did matter. And when I started thinking a different way about it and the way I should be thinking and working on my chemical imbalance and getting myself better so I could see that my life mattered. And now hopefully, you know, you'll see it and you'll see through the darkness through the suffering that you're going into and you'll see that I got to look for that little bit of light I got to grab onto my last line of defense of hope and light that my life matters and you're going to feel like all the material things don't matter all the money all the material things all of it doesn't matter what matters is you you matter your life matters and when you start taking on this persona of who you are and you realize that doesn't define me, my businesses didn't define me, my marriages, yeah, it molds us, certain things happen, you know, happen, but it doesn't define us who we are in our spirit and our soul and be a lion as the men want to be and the lioness that the women want to be. And it's not that the lions don't have to rest and recuperate and get strong and spring and get ready to spring and spring into action. So when you spring into action for your life, and it's going to take you springing into action in your life, that shit, my life does matter. And I've just been self-defeating and, and self-loathing. And when you start seeing it and you start grabbing onto it and you start putting a little courage towards it, you're going to see that none of that defines me. I'm a human being, and I'm a good person. I'm a good person. You are a good person. Now, there's ill intent people out there. They could care less about all this. They have ill intent. They like to hurt other people. Talk about the people that are good-hearted, because the sun never sets on a good heart. You're a good heart, and the sun's not going to set on you. You're not going to let it set on you. And I made a decision to choose life. Even after my two attempts, I, choose, I chose life in 96 after that. Went on to have a life and a family. And tragedy happened in my life again. Uh, my stepdaughter got hurt in a car accident. But I, I realized that, you know, my life matters. And I knew that I had to do this for myself. And once I did that, Everything changed. So don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on yourself because your life matters. And I'm going to do my Buddhist chant for you. Nam Yorenge Kyo. Nam is devotion. Byoho is the mystic law. Renge is the action you take. And Kyo is the rhythm of your life. And I'm going to chant this for you, your loved ones, the enemies out there in the world, the people of the world. Nam Yorenge Kyo. For your good health, your protection, your wisdom, your determination, your happiness, your family, and good fortune. I'm Dan Pelly, inspirational speaker, suicide warrior, and your life matters. Never give up. I'll see you on the next